when we are preparing some environments to be set up with Docker Compose, typically there are some parameters that need to be configured. It could arise to be URLs, to be file paths, to be credentials, the port that a certain service is going to listen to. So we need to parameterize this information to the container that's going to, to be created. And then we have some approaches. One of the best approaches is to use the environment variables of the operational system that's going to be prepared to serve your container. But then we have two approaches to do that. One is to set these values for the environment variables directly inside your Docker Compose file, or we could configure that in one external file and take this information to inside your Docker Compose and use that. So some developer that's going to take this Docker Compose file do not need to change the values directly inside Docker Compose, but just in the environment uh, configuration file. So let's take a look in these two approaches in next steps with some examples. Let's take a look what we have here. One Docker Compose file that is created, aiming to create one MySQL container based in this MySQL image. But for that, we need to parameterize three values. We need to say what's going to be the password for the root user. What's going to be the database name you are going to create when instantiate this container. And more than that, what's going to be the port we are going to connect from our local computer inside this MySQL server in the container. So look, we are using here the environment variables, which is very good because we are parameterizing the content for our container. However, the values of these environment variables are hard coded here. So we will first experiment that for then make that in an external fi file later. So look, the environment variables that's going to be created inside the container are all listed under this environment section. So now let's run that with Docker Compose up and then try to connect in this MySQL instance through these parameters we have here defined. Now we have understood the Docker Compose we have defined with these environment variables here. Let's create the container based on that. So if you take a look, I am in the exactly directory the Docker Compose file is located. So I just have to type Docker Compose up. Docker Compose and then up. Just that will make this Docker Compose file being processed and then instantiate a new container based in this image and with these parameters. And then we are going to be able to test this connection using the root user with the password 123 and expecting to see one database named my database and using the port 10,000 to connect on that. Okay, it's still processing. I think it's okay. Read, read for connections as you can read here. So we could try that. So I'm using here the MySQL Workbank tool and then we are going to try to create a new connection and then connect on that. So when we try to do a new connection, we need to give it a name here, my connection. And then the port we are going to change, the 10,000, as we defined in the Docker Compose file. User root, okay, we need just to inform the password when we try to connect on that. So now trying to connect, we could then type 123 and then we are going to connect inside our container and it's here with the database named my database just exactly we have defined in our um, docker compose file so now you have seen that the container was created using these parameters because they was created as environment variables but it's still hard coded so next step we are going to see how to take these values out from Docker Compose and then reading that from here. 
Now, the last step. We are going to use the Docker Compose file using environment variables, but configured from one external file. As you can see here, we are still using the environment variables, but we have introduced the env file parameter, which could make a reference to another file in your computer, in this case, this file here, that is in the same directory with the name .env. Could be any name, don't need to be that exactly. Okay, and inside this file, if you open that here, what we have? We have then three variables, the password, the tb name, and the port, they are defined here. You could choose the name you want, I have defined these names. And then, the values is here between codes, everything fine. And then, inside the Docker Compose, once we have make the reference to, to env file, we could use all variables that are here defined using the dollar signal in front of that. You see here, this dollar here, dollar here, and here as well. So we could make reference to these variables. So in this case, now we have the password here defined, we have the database name here defined, and you have also the port defined. And all these stuffs are here um, reference it and now we do not need to change anything here just make reference to the dot n file now we can run that again right we have here our docker inside the the directory our files are so we could use docker compose up again so it's going to process this file now that is using the um, the environment file for defining the variables and now as we can read here it's ready for connections but pay attention here we have changed the port now the port is 10001 so we will open here our client we will try to perform a new connection change the port to 10001 and then we need to give a name to this connection my connection okay and then try to connect again it will ask to the password so we set that again as defined in the environment variable and here we are inside our mysql server but created from one environment variable uh, file that is referenced here by a file and the variables can be accessed by this dollar definition. So that is the full example of the usage of environment variables and environment files to configure your Docker Compose. So this video you have been introduced to the environment variables, probably you already knew that, but here we have seen some ways to use that integrated with Docker Compose uh, file and then you could see how you could then customize and parameterize your, your Docker Compose. It's extremely useful in the daily steps for a developer that has to receive the Docker Compose for one group or for one system and then parameterize that to run that in its own computer. Okay, if you have suggestions of topics about this demo or suggestions about this same one, please just write down at the comments. Thank you for watching. See you next time.